have to do this or yeah, yeah. leave it in the middle you, first you can swap the microphone yeah between you if you want oh, you go with the tilt tilting yeah oh, but i need it first oh sorry, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. well i'm i tend to forget <laughs> So we're here today at the Open Minds Conference in Waterford Island, and uh, I'm here with um, some really funky pe people. It's those conspiracy guys. Oh, yeah. So, um, guys, do you want to tell us about yourselves, please? Uh, well, we are those conspiracy guys. I'm Gordon. I'm Paul. And uh, we're a podcast, YouTube channel, um, thought project, thought project, spir that? That okay? spiritual en enlightenment, karmic warriors. <laughs> Uh, without the warrior ring yeah yeah I don't like warrying like beta what? passive warrior <laughs> yeah like we'll we'll put the coat down in front of you but we won't fight you um, we we have a remit for getting information that's freely available on the internet mm -hmm. putting it through our bullshit filter uh, as just normal dudes who have a lot of free time and uh, we we do a podcast where we we take these topics that are traditionally known as conspiracy theories, mm -hmm. and we call them esoteric subjects. Yeah, I think because I mean I would think that the thoughts on higher consciousness, thoughts on the nature of reality, thoughts on the the existence of the supernatural, all fall into you now the the realm of conspiracy theory for people, or at least for the mainstream. Yeah, uh, people think of all of these things as as wild and crazy theories, when some of them are, have a lot of merit to them, and other things are just talking about existence like a lot of sociological stuff a lot of cultural stuff um, you know we take pop culture and we take uh, hi historical I don't know misrememberings that some people have and we talk about like celebrity deaths and we talk about um, cryptozoology stuff government secrets and uh, uh, you know, oper secret operations and assassinations and stuff like that but with a, a, a layman's eye and we look at it and kind of the, the, the podcasts are quite long because we take every detail and really extrapolate it out into its it, all possibilities. And then at the end, and this is the thing that people like the most, I guess, is that we put our own personal opinions into it and say, this is what I believe. You can make up your own mind, but from what I've researched, this is what I think. You go research and make up your own mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do. We have a, a sort of a discourse with our listeners and uh, sort of an open media online and social media. Yeah. Um, and it's, 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 a, it's a forum for people to come and share ideas. And that's what we do. We, we split up the subjects. We attack it as much as we can. Try and, I mean, we have long, long episodes of our podcast that can run four or five hours. But that's because we try to encompass every theory, every piece of information that someone's thought about, that someone's uh, put forward on a certain topic. And we try and compile it all in one place for people. Try and make it a little easier, a little more digestible. Uh, possibly throw a dick joke in there every now and then. You know, a little sugar with your medicine makes it taste good. Like... You know, like a dick this. or whatever, yeah, yeah. I suppose. Um, and and I guess try and open these these thoughts up to people, open these subjects up to people, open a discourse for people, and try to do it in a way because when I, I'm new to conspiracies, Gordo's been a, a, into conspiracies for a long time. I'm very new to them, and when I first looked online, maybe two years ago, when we started this podcast, and looked at a conspiracy for the first time, I was like, oh my god, and it was like being punched in the face by, by people's madness, by uh, the physical manifestation of some sort of mental disorder. Uh, but, but really what, what was happening was uh, I, I just I couldn't find a through line and I could never get a grasp on anything. And that's kind of what inspired yeah. the idea. And Gordon was like, well, let's do a thing that, that, that can try and explain these things to people, but in a way that doesn't make them want to run and set their hair on fire. There's a lot of things that, that come as barriers and like uh, I would imagine to be called maybe intellectual gatekeepers to this information where you would go and look something up and some crackpot has wrote a load of bullshit about it or made one of those YouTube videos that goes on September 11th, 2001. Yeah. And it's like, dude, if, if you're going to... Text-to-speech yeah. yeah. things now. You can get Mike Tyson. <laughs> uh, you can get them guys from Top Gear. You, you don't on, need that. On 11th of voice. September 9, 2001, uh, two planes flew into the towers. Like, you can do it. It's, it's doable. But... Um, they're not even willing to put their their own voice to it and it's yeah. kind of like a fear of expression and sometimes it's like defamatory stuff they're talking about some pretty wild shit and you have to be able to to have the skills to take the nuggets of information that are pertinent that are real and that are applicable to making a a, a kind of a theory within your own mind of of trying to understand exactly what happened and one of the first cases we talked about was sandy hook and we looked at that and went, something's fucky there. Something's odd. Yeah. No bodies, no bullets, no blood. Uh, a lot of people then 
but there's a barrier to discussing it because it's about dead kids. So you can't talk about that somehow because a kid who has autism went with a gun and shot a bunch of kids and their teacher and then three months later it seems that those same kids were singing for themselves at the Super Bowl according to my own eyes looking at a video of kids that look exactly like the pictures of the kids that were shot and that's my own eyeballs I'm going they kind of look similar but it was given to me by some crackpot on the internet it was like look at these kids who look similar but I can pick that information out and go yeah visually they do look the same so it's those kind of like analytical skills and that critical thinking that you can say like you can put together a theory or put together a, a viable narrative to explain these like conspiracy theories yeah pick out the parts that that, that mean something to you and and then try and i guess o- over the episodes what we try and do is give the overall narrative the over an overarching idea of what's going on try and take all the different tent poles and put them together and, and give people an idea because if you come fresh to the, this world this idea of conspiracies it's very hard. There's a lot of in words, in terminology, in jokes that you, it's hard to understand what the hell's going on. Someone will say bloodlines, or they'll say the, uh, the, the the power of symbology and things yeah. like that. You're like, what do they mean? What does that mean? We're trying to like slowly build up this world episode by episode, broken down topic by broken down topic, so people can get uh, hopefully a little closer to the top. Hopefully, we can lay that 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 landscape, cultivate that landscape for for people to be able to spread these ideas. A baseline of basic information yeah. to be able to glean and, and disseminate information from these like in words you know like any culture will have these shorthand words and it makes it very uh, unpalatable for a layman or woman to come in and press play on a YouTube video and know what the fuck they're talking about very difficult so uh, I think like a, a conspiracy 101 in season 1 with stuff like MK Ultra and what a false flag is and you know why anyone would try to assassinate a president or you know covert political and uh, military operations that have a purpose that have a definite narrative and a definite purpose and that they really exist and that these things have been in history and they're documented because people look at that and they think like a James Bond movie or a Jason Bourne film it's like no it's fiction from fact like it's a uh, life imitating art uh, or art imitating life like it's it, the real and the stuff that people think are are bullshit uh, sometimes are, are stranger than stranger than fiction okay thanks very much for this very interesting information uh, you, so you're saying information mustn't be taken at face value and uh, you, you People need to think about it. And what's re- interesting in your pos- podcast then is you is that you make it funny also for people. It's actually intellectually stimulating. Um, so, what what is your YouTube channel then? Uh, our YouTube channel, youtubecom slash Um The kind of the 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 mission statement for the podcast was in the episodes we were going to give a documentary style. Uh, examination of the topic so take all the the relevant information and give it in a narrative that's that's consumable in one chunk as a media uh, product on its own and then the little bits in between or the little terms you know that we'd use like we'd say like Operation Mockingbird or you know uh, uh, Lee Harvey Oswald and we could go into Lee Harvey Oswald for five hours but we already have like a four hour JFK episode that he's not that important in uh, as regards the narrative of JFK. So we take that out and then do a YouTube channel uh, video on Lee Harvey Oswald and do a biography of him. Or we take like certain characters that we mention, like Alan Dulles or, uh, you know, some some of these uh, high up generals like uh, M- uh, Fletcher M- McCarthy, uh, Fletcher yeah. Prouty, like these kind of guys who are really important in the world political structure. Names you come across a lot. There seems yeah. to be like a lot of like, 20 dudes sometimes yeah. as like the same 20 guys names keep coming up over and over again uh, they're the big players like they, they're the big boys so just to pad those things out uh, that's that's where our YouTube channel comes out our website thoseconspiracyguys.com uh, there are places where you can go to, to get these little extra nuggets that, that pad out the, the overall thing in the podcast where we're we're really just trying to take on the journey of the, the big overarching story of planet earth yeah no one's gonna Beyond. go and da- like download and, uh, you want you want the podcast to be like uh, palatable and attractive to go oh that's quite interesting and in that and this is a term we've got at Open Minds a lot sow the seeds man you got to sow the seeds of inquisitiveness and uh, give the people like a narrative 
because I find that really works the best when telling a story. You can tell the facts and people will be like, and what? But if you tell it as a narrative and give it like an emotive structure mm-hmm. and tell it like a story, as some of the best uh, biographies have been done, like um, pe- people are going to consume it better and they're coming in clean, like they're coming in non-conspiracy minded and walking out, you know, with a tinfoil hat on, going, where do I find the rest of the information? And the YouTube channel will hopefully do that. We do do live, uh, <laughs> do do, we do do live uh, shows as well where we get the audience involved and we, we do these on YouTube live, say like twice a month, where we go online, something that's happening in the news or there's an anniversary to do with, uh, you know, some conspiracy theory or an it's event that has happened. And we'd ask people to come on and, and talk about that with us. And we have, there's a discourse and I really like getting in touch with the fans because they're the people that spur us on. They're the people that, you know, make this possible. And also, you know, they're the ones that consume it and, and, and they, they want they get what they want, you know. And like like this event proves there is a community out there of Absolutely. like minded people, uh, that, that wanna share information and, and have open minds, wanna give each other a chance. And uh, that's that's we're a little piece of that overall puzzle. Yeah, so what do you think of this event then and, and what if it is? It seems to be the first event of the, of this magnitude in the country, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's mad to see the demographic of people that's here. There are some young yeah. people, but a ferocious amount of older people. Mm-hmm. And in my mind, and especially in Ireland, I would have presumed that anyone that's over 50 would be, you know, catechism and and Christian brothers and, mm. you know, say your prayers and go to mass and don't eat ham on a Friday and <laughs> this kind of stuff. Um, there's a lot of people that are woke as fuck. Yeah. Down in Waterford, at least. Yeah. The, the whole town is, is seems full of uh, fairly open-minded people, yeah. I would contest. But uh, at an event like this... Uh, it's it's precedent setting. That's that's I think the most important thing is to is to show that things like this can be successful, mm-hmm. that they can work, and that again that that audience, that that community that you know is there, really is there. But this is the tangible proof that it's there in Ireland, and, and that the people are, are are hungry for this kind of thing. And I think that those kind of thoughts and that mindset, that uh, you know co- collective thought process, is not geographically limited. That there are people thinking in France or in. You know, Abu Dhabi, or in the steppes of Russia, or in America so and Canada, or know, like in in a two up, two down in Carlo, that are all having the same ideas and thinking, man, the world is a bit fucked. Uh, what can I do about it? And individuals taking action become a collective, and a collective with a you know a, a singular view can really affect change. And it's nice to see a small drop of, I think over just over a hundred people here, mm-hmm. but like. There's a lot. There's a lot bigger movement started with a lot less than 100 people. Yeah. And if this goes on to next year, which I really hope it does, like we we'll hopefully be back, maybe not to speak, but definitely to to attend and, and meet with the people and um, do a few more interviews and stuff like that. But the information that people give and the p- information that people have here so valuable, mm-hmm. and quite rare. Like you wouldn't go looking this stuff up if you didn't know it existed. That's 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 the thing. And if you were kind of exposed to it with a small. Uh, inquisitive, you know, uh, penchant, like, oh, that's a bit, oh, I love a bit of conspiracy now, jeez, I might, I might go down and have a look there now, and jeez, I'm doing doolies now, I might go down and have a pint and have a look, and then they're coming out going like, what the fuck, like, that's really the, the value of something like this, where you can go in and it's not you alone in the dark, like, clicking on stuff on YouTube and, whew, this is fucking mad. But like you're with other people and, and you can converse and go like, that was crazy, wasn't it? It's was like, yeah, that time I watched this thing and people are exchanging ideas and people taking notes I see with their notebooks and stuff, like actively participating in the community. And it's really like, it's impressive. Yeah, that is the beauty of a conference. It's mm. like the first time you take acid, kids. Uh, yeah. Remember to do it with some some cool some people, people around yeah. and someone who's straight, someone who's not dropped the acid so that they can look after everybody, make sure everyone's trip is going well. That's kind of what this feels like to some degree, yeah. if you've ever done that, which I assume you have. Trevor's just going uh, around with the bucket. Yeah, Trevor's going around minding <laughs> everybody. You, you make it, up, lads. Make it every, no, nobody's mind is dripping out of their ears too much. These, it's, it's, it's a war feeling. To come to a conference like this, it's, it's, it makes things easier to talk about. Yeah, absolutely. To be honest. Yeah. Thank you very much, conspiracy people. Thanks. And uh, till next time. Till next time. And we will be able to rise from the fatigue of despair to the buoyancy of hope. <laughs>